good morning children today we are going to study about the chapter women change the world this chapter tells us about the struggle of women for education citing examples from their real life it tells us about common stereotypes in men and women dear children we already became familiar about previous chapter growing up as boys and girls where we saw that how discrimination taken place inside our house and how we differently treated girls in our house so in this chapter we are trying to come out from our house and we will find out how they are facing problem in our society and how they are uh, treated differently in our society and we will also take the examples of few people those who struggle very hard and they try to overcome uh, overcome from sudden such kind of problems in this chapter as far as our uh, test book is concerned we are going to study about some important topics like fever opportunities and rigid expectations also about learning for change about schooling and education today women's empowerment combining and about the conclusions so just seeing this profession which i mentioned here what images comes in in your mind whenever i am saying teacher normally what happen male and female images come in comes in our mind and mostly female images may come like this farmer fact factory worker nurse scientist pilot whenever you are seeing such kind of professions naturally the images comes in our mind about gender like this particular job like nurse is belong to female only okay like this the uh, images come this all th happening because of stereotypes which injected in our mind now think and answer are there more images of men than women in what kinds of job were there more images of men than women have all the nurses been drawn as females why are there fewer images of females than males of course no doubt about that more images of men than women comes in our mind because our society or we consider that the women their main work is to confine within the four walls of the house this is the one of the stereotypes prevailed in our society for a long times and the sudden jobs we fixed for them and uh, we uh, thinking that the sudden job is only suitable for female no uh, not for male and almost outside job belong to men and you know like nurses where we need more care and attention we think that such kind of jobs belong to women and the job related with technical aspect or which require higher skills belongs to men that's why what happen answer will be there will be more images of males make a mean your mind fever opportunities and rigid expectations people think that men and women are mean to do specific work as i already told you and we already became familiar in the previous chapter also people think that men and women are mean to do specific work we already categorize the work what uh, work belongs to men or women the reason they did this because they feel that outside the home too women are good at only certain jobs if they are doing some outside work also then also oh there is a few jobs okay where we consider that women can do and most of the jobs we consider that belong to men 
Many girls do not get the same support that the boys gets because of stereotypes. I already told you there is stereotypes in our society that girls uh, can do very little work and their work mainly related with household only. And we live in a society full of pressure in most families women are taught that after school they have to be married in our society we know we are living in a society we are full of pressures not only male uh, even the uh, children's also boy or girl they all are facing different types of pressures from their adults and the, mainly the girls condition is very pathetic because they were uh, they are not getting opportunities and also they were thought that your duty is to look after the household work and we consider that their main task is to uh, look after their family only as a result what happened the women they are not getting equal treatment so such kind of uh, stereotypes prevailed in our society for a long time as we know that our society is male dominated society and many social evils prevailed in our society for a long time but some women or some individual person they try to overcome from such kind of problem and one of the best example is Lakshmi Lakra broke this generalization when she became the first loco pilot of Northern Railway Lakshmi Lakra actually she belonged to Jharkhand and born in a tribal family she completed her education in a government school but she was very adventurous she always dreamed high and she appeared in the railway examination and she uh, passed and became as the first local pilot of northern railway in the beginning she also faced lot of dis discrimination lot of opposition to join uh, such kind of job which normally considered that belong to men but she continued her struggle and successfully she able to break the stereotypes that one particular work is belong to one particular gender only. Learning for change. Going to school is an important part of life. Nowadays we know that going to school is an important part of life in the past very few people learn reading and writing most children learn the work from their families as you all know that in the past it was very difficult to get education especially the girls and reading and writing is considered as not uh, female oriented and uh, they mainly used to work inside their house only even in families where skills like pottery weaving and crafts were taught the contributions women are seen as secondary even what happened they are doing certain works inside the house or outside their house also but their work was not give, uh, given value or their work was devalued because they belong to particular gender so this uh, attitude uh, developed only because of th these stereotypes which, which injected in our mind for a long time in the 19th centuries new ideas about learning and education appear as you know that 19th century many social reform taken place many uh, leaders they come out and they openly demanded the end of such kind of ill treatment but there were a lot of opposition against girl education but at that time also people they were not ready to accept to provide education to girls in the 1890s ramabai championed the cause of women education actually ramabai she was also given the title of pandita because she learned and she mastered in sanskrit and she worked very hard for the upliftment of women especially in maharashtra 
Rokaya Sekavath Hussain learned English from her elder brother and elder sister and became a famous writer in spite of the opposition from her family. Uh, she is the one of the best example who fought against such kind of discriminations and she learned English with the help of uh, her elder brother and sister and she wrote a story Sultana's Dream in 1905 describing a place called Ladyland. Ladyland she imagined that there will be a place known as Ladyland where she will be women will be completely free they can do whatever they want there will be no restriction there will be no exploitations so women were completely free such kind of story inspired a large number of women to come out and fight against such kind of discrimination another classical example is Rasundri Devi of Bengal was the first Indian woman to write an autobiography called Amar Jeevan. Rasundri Devi is a classical example of a woman how she fought against the very difficult situation. She, when during her days there was a belief that if the women educated then husband's uh, bad luck may start and husband may die. So in such kind of uh, situation nobody is allowed her to study but she secretly learned the alphabet. Uh, when her son used to study, she secretly taken a piece of paper from Chaitanya Bhagavad, which was given by her husband to son. And she, whenever her son used to study, she uh, matching that particular alphabet with the paper which she kept with her. And gradually, after a long time, she learned uh, language and she wrote autobiography, which is considered the one of the first autobiography written by any woman Amar Jeevan it means my life where she narrated about her struggle women women and company so all over the world various women fought for their equality which brought out many favorable changes in their life as we saw these three examples okay Pandita Ramabai, Dokaya Sekhavat Hussain and uh, Panda Rasundari Devi, how some of the individuals, they come out against such kind of um, uh, treatment, ill treatment and they succeeded in their life. So like this, all over the world, various women fought for their equality, which brought out many favorable changes in their life. You can see all over the world, many women started for the women voting rights, for equality, to get rights in their property, uh, to may, uh, bring law against domestic violence in such a way. Various women started all over the world and India, uh, as a result what happened nowadays we can see a lot of changes taken place. Rising awareness through street plays, songs and public meeting, it is an important part of the women's movement as it's fine discriminations and women related violence so uh, there are very different ways which through uh, they can uh, raise awareness among the people like street plays song uh, public meetings and it is an important part of women's movement so they used to conduct uh, different types of movement in different ways and most of the important method is to bring awareness among the people Okay, as a result, what happened nowadays? Many new law framed for the protections of women. Protesting through public rallies and uh, are powerful tools for drawing attention for uh, attention to injustice. So, protesting through public rallies. So, public whenever they are protesting in a large number through public rally, as a result, what happened? Even what happened? The government they considered their demand and they able to uh, bring lot of changes because of this uh, protest and the women movement not only related with women only there are many many males also participate in the movement as a result what happened the changes what we are seeing uh, today the greatest need of the hour is the change of social attitude towards women the role of women in the development of society is of utmost importance in fact, it is the only thing that determines whether a society is strong and harmonious or otherwise women are the backbone of the society. 
So as we all know that the greatest need of the hour is we have to change our attitude towards men. We have to change our mindset which we uh, carrying for a long time because of the uh, stereotypes. So we must have to change that attitude. Then only women, they will get equal treatment. And the role of women in development of society is very important. We know that uh, without the contribution of women, one society never will be developed and uh, women they are considered as the backbone of society so what we have to do we have to work for the upliftment and welfare of the women once we given them equal opportunity definitely our society will be happy our country will be prosperous so it is our responsibility to treat women equally or treat everyone equally thank you